Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the logical learning platform. In this lecture, we will learn mathematical formulation of linear programming problem with the help of one example. So, let us see this example. A firm manufactures two types of products A and B. Each product is processed on two different machines M1 and M2. Type A requires 2 minutes of processing time on machine M1, 3 minutes of processing time on machine M2. Similarly, type B require 1 minute on machine M1 and 2 minutes on M2. The machine M1 is available for 8 hours, machine M2 is available for 10 hours and minimum a total of 100 units of ANB must be produced in order to overcome the running cost. The profit is rupees 5 on A and rupees 8 on B. Now we have to formulate a linear programming model in order to determine the number of units of product type A and B to be produced so as to maximize their profit. Now this is a real life problem and this is a problem of optimization where we have to maximize the profit. So now look at this, how can we convert this problem into a linear programming problem? Basically you have to remember the three steps. The first step is the identification of variables to determine. Here, what we have to determine? We have to determine the number of units of product of type A and type B. So this is the first step. Second step, defining the objective function. The objective is, this will be either minimize or maximize. Here the objective is, maximize the profit. And the third one is defining the constraints. Constraint means limitations under which we have to work. So these, all these are the limitations so under which we have to work we have to maximize the profit so before we do all these things so first we convert all these things in a form of a table so we can write we can to understand in a quick and easy way we can write all these things in a tabular form so here we write so the products given are a and say b the machine suppose m1 and m2 so processing time you can write it processing time processing time so processing time look at this what is given type a requires two minutes of processing time on machine m1 three minutes on two so you can write it two minutes and this is three minutes you can write it in minute this is in minute and similarly b this is one minute and this is two minutes of processing time this is two minute so this is these are the processing times of A and B on M1 and M2. Now look at this the availability. Availability availability machine M1 is available for 8 hours and this is available for 10 hours. So these are the availabilities of M1 and M2. Now what another thing given to you is a profit. So you can write it profit profit per unit. You can write it profit per unit. This is profit per unit rupees 5 on A and rupees 8 on B. So these are the profits. Now one another uh, sentence is given the minimum of total 100 units of A and B must be produced. It means the total units, total units, units must be greater than or equal to 100. So this is the all information which is given to you. Based on this information, now we have to formulate the linear programming. So let us start with the identification of variables. Here, as I told you, the variables are the number of units of product of type A and B. So we start by assuming let x1 and x2 write it x2, let x1 and x2 be the number of units of A and B respectively. So we have written two variables x1, x2 for number of units of type A and B. Now the second thing is objective. Second is the objective. Objective is to maximize the profit. Objective is to maximize maximize the profit. 
maximize the profit and the total profit is total profit total profit is now look at this the profit of rupees 5 on a per unit a and 8 per unit b we have uh, assumed that we are producing x1 units of a and x2 units of b it means the total profit will be 5 into x1 on a and 8 into x2 on b so total profit will be the sum of these two things so here we can write total profit is 5 x1 plus 8 x2 so this is the total profit so the objective function only this is the objective so now we can write the objective function objective function objective function is maximize maximize say this is z maximize z this equal to 5 x1 plus 8 x2 we have assigned another variable say z which represents the total profit so maximize z equal to 5 x1 plus 8 x2 so this is the objective function we have to maximize this function z where z is 5 x1 plus 8 x2 now we have to find the constraint Now we have to find the constraints. What are different constraints? Now look at this. First one is the availability of machine M1 and M2. So machine M1 is available for 8 hours and this is available for 10 hours. Now look at this. A takes 2 minutes on M1, B takes 1 minute on X2. But we are producing X1 units. It means total time on machine M1. So this is 2X1 and X2 into 1 that is X2. So, total time of machine M1 will be 2 into X1 plus X2 and because this is available only 8 hours, so we have to convert it into minutes. So, you can write this 480 minutes. Similarly, you can write it 600 minutes. So, this total time of machine M1, this is 2X1 plus X2 must be less than equal to 480. So, here we can write it availability of time availability availability of machines for m1 so you can write it 2x1 plus x2 less than equal to 4 now similarly if you check for m2 total time is 3x1 plus 2x2 and this must be less than equal to 600 so we can write it for m2 you can write it 3x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 600 now look at this another constraint the total units must be greater than or equal to 100 total units will be x1 plus x2 so you will add one another constraint for total units so this is x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 100 so no other constraint is given to you now we have considered all these constraints but one another constraints which we say non negative non non negative constraints non negative constraints these constraints are x1 greater than equal to 0 x2 greater than equal to 0 so these non negative constraints will always be there in every linear programming problem because negative value has no meaning in real life world for example you can't say x1 is minus 5 units this has no meaning so that's why these constraints will always be there in every linear programming problem so in this way we can formulate a given theoretical problem into a linear programming problem now finally so here we have defined each and every step now finally just 
remove all these things simply as a problem how can we write we can write in this way the LPP is maximize z where z is 5x1 plus 8x2 subject to the constraint means these are the limitations 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 480 3x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 600 x1 plus x2 100 x1 greater than or equal to 0 and x2 greater than or equal to 0 so this is the final formulation of linear programming problem which we have considered so i hope that you got the concept of formulation of a linear programming problem and now you can do it if you learn something from this uh, if you are learning something from this so please like subscribe this channel this will motivate me to improve further so thanks